So what is Vue.js? Oh. Just Vue, as it's also called. Vue.js, which are basically web applications that run in the, the user sees, easier. Test definition, it might not be too helpful. So make it And of course, one important part is script. Vue.js is a script, and it uses JavaScript, JavaScript because JavaScript is the programming language which we can use. We can run it in the browser after a page was loaded by the user. It allows us to manipulate what the user sees on the screen without fetching and page. And that allows us to provide a rich user experiences and I'll come back to the experiences point in just a second. But it's not just for Java. It is a JavaScript framework. Now, what does framework mean? A framework, not just in JavaScript, but any programming language, is basically a free library, which means it's code, not written by you, but by someone else, which supposes certain utility functionalities, certain methods, certain tools, which you don't have to try it on. And that's important. Unlike a regular library, a Framework not just give you those extra functionalities, but which also gives you, uh, I would say, it gives you a clear guidance, a clear approach when it comes to building your application. It basically gives you a clear idea and structure of how to write your application code. So it's the utility functions plus the rules. Now, why would we use Vue.js? We also have that in the sentence because with it, can build reactive web frontends. Reactive is a pretty fancy term, but the idea is that our app should be very responsive to what the user does. If a user enters something on the screen, we want to be able to react to that, for example, to show validation errors below an input field. We want to be able to show overlays with warning methods. We want to give a user a very modern look and feel in our application. Often we try to achieve what we know from mobile apps. And I'll back it. So we want to provide a great user experience in the end. And VJS makes it easier for us to achieve that. And the web frontends part is also important. This basically means that Vue.js is involved with what the user sees. It's a framework. We don't use it with PHP or with Node. We can't talk about simply in a combination, but it doesn't help us write better PHP or Node.js code because Vue.js is for the browser side JavaScript. With this and JavaScript and possibly Vue.js in the browser, we can control and we can provide a rich user interface in the web. Vue is a framework that helps us with building such a JavaScript driven user interface for our web application that might be talking to a server, but it's all about code that helps us achieve that. Now, why would we use this? Why would we want this reactive web frontend? Well, well let's, let's not think about web applications. Let's think about mobile applications. Mobile applications are a response things happen instantly. We have like one screen where we add overlays, where we interface. we can navigate to diff screens with a smooth animation. It all feels like one day. So mobile apps and also desktop apps feel very reactive. We don't have to wait for HTML to be downloaded and read by the browser. Instead, the entire user interface is already here. The entire users is part of the mobile app the user installed and the only thing that might be loaded behind the scenes is data. Now in web apps traditionally we click a link and we work and that happens over and over again. We might enter some data in a form, data is submitted and as once we get a new HTML page. So in page we wait for responses all the time. JavaScript can help us here. JavaScript can speed this up. Browser, a more, a more modern user interface. 
JavaScript has the huge advantage on the browser on the loaded page. Maybe we have a browser which can be used to change without shell behind the scenes. Instead, can manipulate the HTML structure, so called DOM, document object model, of a page with JavaScript. And that means that in modern JavaScript driven web apps, not sending a request to get a new HTML page. Instead, we only do this once, and there are behind the scenes and we use client-side JavaScript and probably for you to update what's on the screen. And we're using solutions like this, but just any kind of web app just in JavaScript. So whichever frameworks or libraries. Framework like Vue is needed in reality, but it wouldn't be much fun to use just JavaScript because we write all the code, all logic, on our own. We have to wheel over and over again. We might even write suboptimal code and introduce our bug because we have to write everything from scratch. And we have to do these things correctly our performance or secure issues. Working in a team might be hard because not everyone knows our code structure, the philosophy behind our code, and how to use our code. And that's why we use something like Vue. It gives us a clear in which we have to work, which everyone in a team has to use, and we don't have to figure out all the small nitty-gritty details like updating a part on the page. Instead, we can focus on our core business logic with Vue and let Vue do the heavy lifting of updating the page and of doing all the annoying stuff which we would have to do otherwise. That's why we use frameworks like Vue, and throughout the course, this will become obvious once we dive into all the features and how easy those features make it to build amazing web applications and interface. So now you have a rough idea of what Vue is and why you might want to use it. In case you're not fully convinced yet, no worries, we'll see it all in action very soon. There is one important thing to realize about using Vue though. We can use Vue in two main ways, you could say. We can use it to control parts of an HTML page and make that part a bit more reactive and interactive. So we could, for example, control the sidebar on a page to load elements there dynamically. Or we have like a chat overlay which the user can open up and that chat overlay is controlled by Vue. So we don't have to control everything on the page with it. We don't have to use Vue for everything on a page if we don't have any reactivity. If we don't need an interactive element somewhere on our screen, we don't have to use Vue for it. And we can therefore use Vue to build so-called widgets. And that's not a general term, that's just a term I came up with. We control parts of a page by dumping in small widgets like a chat screen, like an interactive sidebar, and other parts on the page are totally not affected by Vue. The opposite, the other way of using Vue, would be that everything on a page is controlled with Vue. So every element is rendered and controlled by Vue. This is the so-called single page application approach, where the server only ever sends one HTML page, which includes basically no markup, but all the script imports we need, importing Vue and our Vue code. And thereafter, our Vue code defines what should be rendered on the screen in the browser after the page was loaded. Now, there also are some mixtures, but learn all about that, all about those two approaches in great detail throughout the course. We're going to start with the left approach because that's 
easier to get into Vue, but will then also to the other approach, to the everything is controlled by Vue approach, so that by the end of the course, you feel comfortable using either of the two approaches and you will also know when to use which approach. Because it turns out there is no better approach, these approaches are simply good for different things. And throughout the course, this will become very, very clear. It's also worth mentioning that we have alternatives to Vue. Vue.js, of course, is the focus of this course, and here we will learn all about Vue. Vue will turn out to be a complete component-based UI framework, and you will learn what component-based means throughout the course, no worries. And it's a framework that includes basically all core features you need to build modern web applications. Now, you already see that there's one downside, and that is that it's a bit less popular than React and Angular. Now, I'll get back to the downside in a second, but of course, the first important question is, what is React and what is Angular? Well, React is one alternative to Vue. It's basically also a JavaScript framework, though officially it's just a library because it has less features than Vue, actually. It only focuses on rendering UIs and it misses some features like routing which Vue offers out of the box. You will learn what routing is in this course, by the way. And for React.js is very popular indeed, but it actually also depends quite a bit on community packages, whereas Vue has everything built in. Now, Angular is yet another alternative, yet another framework which you could use, and it actually has a bit more features than Vue, so it helps you with even more problems that you could possibly have, it's therefore especially popular in the enterprise world, though big companies are using all three frameworks. There are large companies using React, there are large companies using Angular, there are large companies using Vue. And like Vue, and also like React as component based, it actually uses TypeScript. Vue also supports this, but it's optional in Angular. It's basically mandatory. And for smaller projects, you could say that Angular could be overkill because of all its features. But of course, that always basically comes down to personal preference, I would say. In general, all three are very popular and used a lot. Vue is a bit less popular amongst big companies, but there definitely are large companies using it. Attached to this lecture, you also find a more detailed comparison article which you can dive into, though you will get the most out of this article if you come back to it later once you learn a bit more about Vue. For now, it's enough to keep these alternatives in mind and then you can explore them once you know more about Vue, because good news also is that if you ever would want to switch to a different alternative, once you learned one of these three, switching will be easier because while of course do have different code which you write, they do have fairly similar concepts and the switching isn't too hard. Now, these are the view alternatives and now that's enough of the theory, I would say. Why don't we now simply get started by writing some view code and getting a first feeling for how view works?